Sandra today with today we're jumping into Heartstopper season two episode seven. We have one more episode to go and then we're going to be wrapping up Heartstopper. Ooh, I'm sad. I love this show, um, but you know what? It has came. It has came. We're, we're, we got the great stories of the season. We have we have found love and in hopeless places. Shout out to Rihanna. Um, <laughs> And it's been it's been a great journey. It really has. Um, and then after this this uh, episode is over, it's episode eight. I mean, we have so much more. I'm gonna try out um, what's it called? One Piece live action to see how that is. Um, we're going to try. Uh, we're going to get into the Wheel of Time season two. We I think the Young Royals either did I hear that they're filming or done filming or something like that. That will be happening. Um, so we have things to look forward to on the platform. Shout out to that. Plus the endless amount of shows that is taking me forever and eternity to wrap up. Um, love it. <laughs> I'm so excited. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump right into this. If you would like to see this in a full reaction, you can. On the secretary's ear here on this platform, they will always copyright my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, once again, if you want to see this in a full reaction, please don't hesitate and join one of those platforms today. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Heartstopper and find out exactly what Heartstopper has got to give. I was crying at a party. Granny would have a heart attack if she knew I was letting your girlfriend sleep over. Granny would have a heart attack if she knew I was a lesbian. You should probably go. But I don't want you to. Good mood. Yeah. Uh, Me and Elle decided to get together. Oh, oh and Elle is a little special girl. The perfect girl for my perfect boy. We talked about actually being boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, we've all been waiting for this day. Uh, Your dad called. He's coming for dinner next week. Dad's coming to visit. Could we invite Charlie over? That's a lovely idea. What, you're joking? How come Nick gets to invite someone and I don't? Do you have a girlfriend you'd like to invite, David? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, David. Yes! No! Mm. Get it over here! We've been invited to Nick's for a dinner party. Wow. Mum will love that. Maybe this will help her see how great he is. Why does Ben want to talk to him? Great. I don't meet up with James. Oh my god, they're gonna kiss! Bye! Bye! Bye. No. Yes! Try it on. Look, the lining matches my dress, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> yes! yes. Alright! I think I'm gonna go to prom. Yeah? Would you like to like, be my prom date? We might get a lot of attention, and I don't wanna wear matching suits. Oh, me neither. <laughs> this one's pretty. Love it, Al. I don't think it's the one. They like your art enough to exhibit it, but they still can't tell you if you've got in. You got in, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know how Tao will take it. You look amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it. I haven't got much left after Tao. Oh, oh, sure. Don't cry, Andres. <laughs> wow. That is like life goals. <laughs> So I'm guessing you don't feel the same about me then? I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. You know, I read all these books where people fall in love and I still have absolutely no idea. I thought that I might feel that way about you, but then we kissed and I just knew that I didn't. There's nothing wrong with you. You probably just haven't found the right person yet. Yeah. Oh. 
Something definitely happened. <laughs> Can you guys just shut up? Look, I get that you don't think my life is interesting unless I have some kind of romantic drama going on, but I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't like him back. No, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just... I don't want to talk about it. Damn. Yeah! Oh, my God! Your peak. I can't wait to see what art you make when you start with in September. You got in? Yeah. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah. It's my one. Really? Basically about my experience being a romantic and asexual. Romance and sex are prized above everything else when you don't feel those forms of attraction. Something about you is different, but you don't have the words to describe what that is. Euphoria of freeing yourself from those pressures and expectations. Oh Can we just have a peep? No. We told her to leave early. Literally nothing I ever do is good enough. You guys can't tease me about being the token ally anymore now that Sahar's here. I'm bisexual, so... <laughs> so come into prom tomorrow? Of course. Got our matching outfits. Her mom is probably like not happy about her. Joining us in September for her sixth form study. Would you like to say a few words about your piece? There have been a lot of changes in my life over the last couple of years. I guess I wanted to capture a place that holds a lot of happy memories. Somewhere I always felt safe. <laughs> I really liked it. It was amazing. As usual. I know you're probably annoyed that I didn't tell you I got in. Please don't base your decisions on how I feel. All I care about is you being happy. And wherever you are, I'll, I'll still want to be with you. But I also still haven't decided yet. I may still stay at Higgs. Uh... Hey. I, I need to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. I just want to apologize. Properly. I'm not going back to Truem for sixth form, so if you really hate me after this, you'll never see me again. I'm a messed up person, Charlie. I like you. You know that, don't you? I really liked you. If I just had more time, I want to be like you two. But my parents would never accept who I really am. I just wanted something good. You were something good. Do you remember the first time you kissed me? You didn't even ask. You didn't pause to wonder whether it was what I wanted. I didn't realize that you had all the control. This must be what I deserve. Someone taking whatever he wants from me whenever he wants. Treating me like I'm nothing the rest of the time. It's a little voice in the back of my mind telling me I'm worthless and I don't deserve it. And now you want me to forgive you so you can feel better about yourself. Sorry doesn't make up for everything you did to me. I really hope you become a better person so you don't hurt anyone else. But I don't want to be there to see that happen. I don't know. Come on. I bad. Do we need to pretend to be platonic BFFs in front of your dad? Yeah, maybe just for now. But I'm gonna tell him about us tonight. I'm here for you, mate, bro. Supportive straight <laughs> friend, Charlie. The brother's gonna be a dick. Dad, we Ah, Nick, you guys should come and join us. Look, it's Toulouse and Montpellier. The brother's totally gonna tell her. Do you wanna lay the table, Sarah? It's a bit since he got here. It's been fine. No, she's lying. He doesn't have to know, sweetheart. I'm not doing it for him, I'm doing it for me. Hi, Hi. Hello. Hello. thank you for coming. Well, my father's from the south of Spain, Almeria. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Do you visit often, Stefan? As much as I can. Mm -hmm. You should see some of the places Dad renovates. Insane. Hello, Dad, has Nick told you how he met Charlie? Oh. Yeah, no, he hasn't. We got sat together in school and then Charlie joined the rugby team. And Nick was obsessed with getting Charlie to join. What is your problem? I played rugby when I was in university. Have neither of you boys found girlfriends? Oh! I'm not sure Nick's too interested in looking for girlfriends, really. Don't you dare. David, be respectful, please, at the table. We have guests. Why do you always do this? You're a dick. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Ollie's my boyfriend. Oh! This is it. Surprise. I'm bi. He's gay. And I was actually really stressed out about how I was going to tell you. I don't care what you think about it anymore. Because you don't care to even see us more than two times a year. This is the time when you might actually take an interest in my life, but you never do. So if you don't care, then 
that I'm a coward. I like who I am. I like my life. Maybe you should stay with Dad next time. Sorry, Mom. Let him speak to us like that. Oh, David, be quiet. We've heard quite enough from you, thank it's you. It's Nick that's making a scene. You have not grown up into the men I had hoped you would be, David. As if you have any right to say that. You barely see your children. Oh, God, this is awkward. I just think I am. Didn't mean for it to happen that way, but I'm... I felt good to say it. The brother is a dick. I'm pleased you said what you said, especially to your dad. He needed to hear it. Why doesn't he care? I wish I understood, but I don't. I'm leaving, then. I'm sorry. I, I want to be better. Tell it then. And just say it. Call me when you get back to Indianburg, huh? Glasgow. It was nice to meet your boyfriend. Well, I, I don't really understand these things, but it seems like a very nice young man. He's a horrible father. Everything he said, he still was a trash father. Drama Queen boyfriend's influence. To Talk about my brother like that again. And I'll end you. You're trash. And you're balding in the middle of your fucking head. You weirdo. It takes a lot for Nick to stand up to David like that. He must care for Charlie very deeply. He's a nice boy. When he's not distracting you from your coursework. And maybe we could have him and Sarah around in a few weeks. Strong and Nick. Strong episode. We're still going together? Together, together. Where well, yeah, everybody knows to. now, Charlie. Bye. Bye. I love his mom. Charlie didn't eat very much. Look at that. Something's wrong with Charlie. He has an eating disorder. episode hit me all it hit me 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 um i'm not gonna lie so some people some people who know me know i don't i do not open up starting this platform when my aunt passed away from from the pandemic she got that disease and um she passed away, but she always wanted me to do YouTube. I've said this before, I just, I'll say it a thousand times. So really, she was my motivation after she passed to do YouTube, right? And I found out that doing YouTube, it opened, it allowed me to open up here on the platform, just speaking freely. It took me a little while. I felt really awkward doing it. And then from me doing my reaction videos, I started doing it, I was able to like, say how I felt online like you know I would post a picture and, and speak freely but other than that I was never good I did not do therapy I did not do uh, I could not speak to people who actually know me family or friends it's just hard for me so when I was watching this um, the reason why I'm saying that is the following so Nick's father who's absolute trash. He actually bothers me. He bothered me since the first time I saw his fucking face. Excuse my language. <laughs> he bothered me, y'all. He bothered me. And now getting more in depth in this episode, I officially just don't like him. Um, and Nick was saying like, you know, you're never there. And that made me think about my own life as I'm watching the show, which happens often. I start going off in my brain, starts thinking. And I, a lot of shows or TV series, movies or TV series that relate to me hit me and makes me fall in love with it because it is on a personal level for me and I'm sure a lot of other people who have parents out there that just are garb. No, I don't want to say garb. I don't want to say it like that. Parents that are not there, right? So, um, my father, my actual father, was never there. And my sisters, we, my siblings and I, we all have half, uh, we're all half. So my, si my sister's father raised me and I didn't know he was not my father until my 20s. 
um, I had no idea. And he passed away when I was in ninth grade. So he was my father, because he raised me and he's all I knew, right? And my actual father, when I was watching this, I was like, y you never took the time out to try to find out where your son is. Like, you never took the time out to like, wonder what happened. Like, did you, do you you're just out there living your life and you just never wonder what happened kind of a feeling. That's what I take from this. And it just hits me, it hits me, it hits me. And then Darcy's mom, is it Darcy? Yeah. Darcy's mom being the way she was, it reminded me of when I was younger, I just could not get along with my mom. <laughs> I just could not get along with my mom at all. We just, we were like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, what is it? Vinegar and something? Water? Water and vinegar? Maybe that's what it was. Whatever that saying is, we just, we just, we, nine out of ten, we did not mesh. And it, that's all that it was, was yelling and arguing and I'm being told, get out. And I left or I left or I came back drunk or high and caused the scene and broke things. I was literally out of control. So watching that too, it like just takes me back. So both of those situations, um, I just was like, ugh. I felt very uncomfortable watching, but it needs to be shown because there are people out there that don't have parents or parents that are good. Not, my mom is great, my mom is great. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's just general, you know what I mean? And you never know people, like parents, Parents that treat, and it's not just the gay community, but the gay community has it extremely hard, the LGBT plus community, because we're already battling our own situations inside, which, like everybody else, is, but especially when you're that young, you feel so out of place, and this show makes, this show actually kind of makes it more realistic because you have people like Ben and that other guy who always says bruv um, that pick on but it, it's like 20 times harder right for kids nowadays and then if you deal with parents that are not accepting and not understanding and that is like constantly backlash then they even that's an extra layer of other sh that they have to deal with and some a lot of kids just don't make it past a certain stage they just don't so it's good to shine awareness on this and i hope that for me i hope that not just the younger lgbt plus community see shows like this or i hope they watch this show but um that they see shows like this and maybe they show their families and friends and it gets out there because at the end of the day it is still really hard out there guys it is dangerous it is hard and it is in this type of environment where things are just not okay it's just let's stop beating around the freaking bush at this moment especially it is not I would rather it be the way it was when I was growing up than how it is right now. It, or maybe or maybe it always was like this or worse and I just didn't have my eyes fully open. So, but now being a freaking adult, you can see how the world is. It's full of hate and it's scary. It's scary. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer on this very bright show, but it's scary. And the, my, my message out there is if you are that brother who is having a, a balding spot um, and you just want to pop out your gums, relax. If you're that father or mother that just doesn't understand your, your kid or you're not there for your child, do better. Like, you, it's, 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 a, it's time. It's time, it's time world. It's time, do better. Um, it was great to see Elle and Tao um, and it's good to see L. 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 is a liar. <laughs> I feel like L has lied a few times, and I think in this in this season alone, I think it's safe for me to call her a liar. And um, if you love L, that's fine. I like her too. But L is a liar, and let's just call a spade a spade. I'm tired of beating around the bush with everything. L is a liar, and I understand. That. Well, she, well, she didn't lie. She fibs because she didn't want to hurt Tao or she lied because I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. You lied. You are a liar. Um, and it's okay, girl. Living the truth. So, be a liar. And, um, 
I don't know why she didn't think about, okay, I'm bringing everybody to my reveal of my art project that's for another school or whatever it is that the school would, everybody there knew. So why didn't you think about just telling the truth? I would just tell the truth or I would say no right in that group chat. I would say, no, I don't know yet. And then I would call Tao right away and I would tell him on the phone or tell him to come over and have a conversation before we went there so he would not feel embarrassed and betrayed because I'm a liar. And how can you go forward with any type of relationship if you just continuously lie? And somebody's gonna probably, I feel like I just know what the comment's gonna say. Where else did she lie? I don't know, look back. I feel like she definitely has lied before. Maybe if she didn't lie, then she's just been mean. How about that? Um, so moving right along. I feel like a lot of people also like when they, <laughs> watch reactions to the show. I feel like they don't... I wonder... I actually should go look... When I'm done with this season, I'm gonna go look at other people's reaction videos and see if anybody ever say anything negative like about the characters of the show. The show is amazing. The episode was a 10 out of 10. Everything was uh, beautiful. The message behind it was very powerful. It's a very powerful episode. Once you take out the glitz and the glams, um, it's a very powerful, powerful messages. But I want to know what people think about these characters, darling. I want to know what they say about these characters. Um, but yes, so I like Elle and that was cute. That was a good scene when she revealed that portrait, darling, of, um, is his name Isaac? And Charlie and Tao. Oh my God. And she said it was her safe space. I was like, gag. I wanted to cry there too. Um, Darcy and Tara. I really like their relationship and I hope that Tara can help Darcy out getting through this time, this moment of what's going on. And I hope by the ending of this season that the mother, that Tara, uh, Darcy's mother doesn't get we don't whitewash the, this is not whitewash that's not the word we don't uh, we don't why, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. It's not whitewashed. Um, we don't just scrub out what we just saw right now and glaze right over it. And, and then she gets revealed and she's like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I understand. Because Tara has been going through this behind the scenes before any of us knew this whole effing time. So clearly her mom is garbage. So I don't want her to... I don't want her to say sorry and we move right along. Talking about saying sorry and moving right along. I forgot what Ben did when he did used to kiss uh, Charlie and forcibly kiss Charlie. I actually forgot about that part until Charlie said it to him. Good job on Charlie. Um, good job on Charlie saying what he said. So there is a part of empathy, empathy for me for Ben. And I understand he is an abuser. Um... But what age can we say, okay, this is gonna sound weird, or I don't want people to attack me. <laughs> don't come for me unless I send for you, and I'm not sending for nobody. Um, but what age can we say that you were so young and naive and dumb, and you did dumb things, but what, what age can we say that it, it is okay to be like, listen, I'm never gonna forgive you, I'm never gonna deal with you, or, I will never forget what you did and I don't want to ever speak to you but I'll be able to forgive you for your own peace and mine because holding resentment or any type of anger towards somebody else weighs you down and does this have to deal with Charlie's eating disorder that we have been alluding to in this season as we saw Nick look it up Charlie obviously has an eating disorder or does Charlie just have an eating disorder I feel like what happened with Charlie with Ben has molded Charlie into being this character where he always wants to not only with Ben but him being bullied but I feel like all of this is heavily on Ben of everything that's happening with Charlie at this moment but um I mean Ben was really bad to Charlie um he really was yeah, he was bad. And to tell you the truth, if I was Charlie, I probably would have acted the same way. I probably would have said the same thing. So I understand Charlie, and I agree with Charlie and everything he said. Um, because you can't hurt me and then come apologize to make yourself feel better. The only thing that I just don't want is Ben to take to off himself, like to take 
his life. You know, understand? You understand? In feeling so much of what he's feeling, and maybe that's just me, like still caring about other people. But he's already dealing with so much, right? And I know what he did to Charlie was horrible. I'm a hundred percent behind it. But I just feel like th then he's been. Bam, bam, bam all season. And I hope that he's not coming back. So if there is a season three, which I'm sure there is, of this show, he might not be back in it because he said he's not coming back for the fourth quarter or whatever the holy hell that is. Um, so is this was this Ben's goodbye? Um, yeah, it was sad. That was a very sad scene when he, when the rainbow water was just about to touch him about the acceptance I felt like and then he walked away still not accepting who he is oh lord this is a powerful episode if you guys really think about it and I'm sure you guys did it's a very powerful episode I really do hope all po oh and let's talk about Isaac I feel like we just always bypass him is he asexual? I was thinking that prior but I don't understand I don't know how that works like I don't know is it just somebody who would rather be by with themselves and doesn't find love in others is that what that is like I have no idea like I just don't know anything about that to tell you the truth I'm still very new to the pronouns I'm a very I say it all the time to my friends I'm an old school gay like the pronouns is hard for me to understand like not understand but no I don't really know them. And also, like, now we have, like, when, okay, so when I was growing up gay, it was gay, straight, bi, trans, that's it. That, I think that was literally it. Then, you know, there was lesbians, um, there is lesbians. Like, that, that was the names, right? And there was no pronouns. Um, there was, there was no pronouns. Um, but now there is a lot more it's things have expanded so um now with the sexual orientation there's even now something called a side when it deals with sexual encounters um there's a top there's a bottom there's a verse there's a verse top there's a verse bottom there now there's sides so you know i mean Life is just getting more complicated, darling. It's getting complicated. Um, so I don't know. Is it is asexual, like, um, a sexual orientation? And what do people who um, consider themselves asexual, what does that mean for them? Because I know what asexual is. I know what asexual is, like, in science when we were growing up and what they told us about asexuality. It was, ne they n was never referred to as a person. It was always other beings. Um, plants and um, microorganisms and there's some um, um, I think there's some um, sea at, like things in the water and stuff that are asexual. I think they like they can have their own babies too. I think that I was reading somewhere. I was like, oh that's an interesting. Um, but I don't know what it means for humans. So like what it would mean for somebody. And I'm not trying to be offensive. I don't know if it's sounding offensive, but um, I'm curious to know. So comment down below. I love this episode. We have one more episode to go, and then we're going to be wrapping up this wonderful season. And I guess we're going to end with the prom. We're going to end with the prom. We're going to probably see Ben for the last time. Um, I loved, I love Charlie's sister. Love her, love her, love her. Um, and shout out to the moms, Tao's mom, Nick's mom, um, even Charlie's mom. I always love Charlie's mom. No shade. Um, all the moms here. Moms doing mom's things. Yes! Minus, um, Darcy's mom. Anyways, we're done. Guys, please like the video. Please share the video. Don't forget to comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Next time, next time with more Heartstoppers. Woo!